All right? Watch, listen, consume. Blade in edits, podcasts and clobber that you need to be checking out. If you like this, chuck us a like. Throw us a comment, hit subscribe. I've also got a PayPal donation link in my bio. You can chuck us a little bit of coin, help keep this thing going. Right, let's get into it. So this is not so much gear that you consume, but it's news that you can consume. Yandro Severio is the king of New York. He won the Boshy Pope skate off. And man, what a last trick. Turbo, man. Well deserved win. I'm really glad he won as well. I like the bloke, he seems really nice for your interviews and stuff like that. I really like his skating. And also, he tends to get a little bit of jip online, which is annoying. He handles it pretty well. He's normally got some good clapbacks, and for the majority of the time, it's complete buffoons. He would just like spew illegible nonsense at him that doesn't really make sense and doesn't have a place in society anymore, or never did anyway. But he handles that. And you know what? I'm glad he's won, because of that. So all of them can absolutely suck it. They can stick it in their kebab and friggin' choke on it. Nice one, Yandrew. Man, what a time to be in and around New York City. Bladen's kicking off. Boshy Pipe skate off, well attended. There was people hanging off railings, standing on top of walls, hanging out of trees, trying to get a look in on the action. It like was people everywhere. The night before, you had the Blader Gang jokes up premiere. They had loads of merch to sell as well. I'm sure that link was meant to be up by now. I'm sure it was launching on Saturday. Can't find it, I'm sure that'll come soon though. You also had them skates in the Brain Dead New York premiere. Flipping out. Everybody was in town, absolute kickoff. Sticking with Brain Dead, they've got a fabrications gallery. Michael Decker's involved. He's got one called A Mug's Life. So it's loads of like mugs and stuff that he's connected around, mugs and jugs. Smashed them up, re-put them back together, created some nifty looking lights. Man, really interesting stuff. Make sure you cop a load of that if you can. Parallel Collective have got some new gear up. Emerald green beanie and t-shirt and an alpine green hoodie. Really nice, clean, minimalistic designs. Great, lovely colour, man. I'm really into it. I love green. Also, catch a load of Gav Drum back in action. Bloody hell, man. He's so good. I love his skating. The Kelso Brothers have dropped dunce. This is an edit and a complimentary clothing line. Main tee has a load of road cones on it. Comes in a few different colours. So if you're into cones, this is the one for you. If you're not, if you like things a bit more simple, they've got a load of other stuff as well. They've got some nice cotton twill hats with like a little bit of a texture to them. Lovely, they've got some plain t-shirts, jumpers, shorts, socks, beanies. Man, they've got it all in there. I'm a bit surprised though that they haven't gone for a basement road cone. I think they've missed a trick there. Cones, we got cones, big cones, little cones, no ice cream cones, I'm not Captain Cornetto, I'm not Mr. Whippy. Give me an ice cream. Jog on. All right, mate, you look like you like a cone. Couple of coners around the back, do ya? Oh, yeah, for yeah, hippies. Yeah. All right, mate, just take it easy, you fat conehead. All right, oi, big lad, cone and the barbarian. Oi, bet you like a couple of cones, mate. Madonna cones. Yeah. Seriously so though, we've got all the cones. We've got the cones on the basement video. Yeah, that's right. The exact one. That's not how you spell basement. That is how you spell basement. Oh, you can jog on as well, mate. Cones, get your cones. May as well stick with dunce and get into the video, and man. Yeah, it's sick. It's dead fun. I'm assuming it's called dunce because of the road cones and that looks like a dunce's hat. Somebody let me know if I'm completely off the mark on that one. Back to the video. Yeah. It's fun, isn't it? It's creative, they've done something different, fast pace, really quick feet, loads of cool stuff, loads of stars. I think it's interesting doing something like that, bit of a concept. And I like the way they've lined it up with the release of their clothing, or maybe that dictated the clothing. Whichever way around it is, I like that. They have this package together. There's the clothes, there's the edit, there's a bit of a theme, and there's loads of our wizardry involved as well. Obviously, some people aren't into it. I'll talk about that in another thing, though. Happy birthday, Jordan Williams. He's just posted up, 18 or 28, an edit to celebrate his birthday. Him and his mates just having a good time. Lies of really creative skating. He's got a great vision for what makes an interesting trick and knows how to use a spot well. There's this bit where he does this really quick kind of shuffle, man. 
oh god if anybody else attempted that you'd blow your ankle off its hinges man your feet would stay the direction that they started with and your body would just go what proper basketball ankle breaker shintaro nakayama has posted up midnight attack features him dan ryu Suichiro Kanashima and Kazuya, all obviously at night, really nice, like clean, simple tricks, lots of control. I'm into it, man. I'm into these nighttime visuals. The other thing you can watch is Tony Woodland getting to see his video being played in Times Square, New York City. Man, look how happy he is. He's actually chuffed. I'm chuffed for him. Blade Union have got a mid season signing. They've signed up Dave McNamara from Platform. So Platform's now going to be on Blade Union. And this week, Dave's been speaking to Matt Reyes, the young Italian gun. This kid skates so fast and gets so low in tricks. It's frightening, man. Loads of style. He talks about his beginnings in skating. Well, actually, how we used to be fair handy at tennis. But then he was like, oh, actually, do you know what? I think I like skating more. His mother wasn't too much into it. But, you know, he's chased his passion, talks about skating with his cousin, Jason Adriani, about getting onto them skates. Loads more in there. Really humble kid. Really good interview, man. Go and check it out. Ricardo Lino, the wheel addict, is back with his skate talks. This time he's got on Adrian Ann. Super humble, this guy. Really humble. They talk about all sorts of stuff. His career, what he's up to these days. They also talk about the difference between Shifty, Shifty Royale, and Imperials. Imperials, we always just called like a mad good Royale. So it's just when you do it on just the boot. So you're not touching the frame and it's not a set slide. It's still an actual grind, but just on the boot. Yeah, just call that proper good Royale, man. Imperials apparently is the name. If you want to learn more stuff like that or learn a bit more about Adrian Ann, this is a podcast for you. Another good week in rollerblading. Really exciting to see the attendance for the Boshy Pope Skate Off and the Them Dead premiere. Really healthy stuff. It's exciting times, man. Right, let's do this all again next week. Spotty dog.